James here, has more outdoor products. Today I'm going to adjust the uh, forward facing sonar, how we're going to mount it. It's currently mounted on my Minn Kota trolling motor. I don't really care for this too much. It seems like a, where I want to aim the sonar is never exactly where I want the boat to go. And uh, vegetation tends to collect if you get into some grass or something like that. Okay, the first thing we're going to have to determine is how far we want the uh, forward facing sonar transducer to actually go down below the gunnel of the boat. I'm going to uh, take the measurement from my trolling motor. That will give us a good reference to start with where it's actually, I'm kind of happy with the depth it's at right now. Distance on our current setup is about 30 inches to the bottom of the transducer. That's a good ballpark. We're probably going to go something where we can go a little bit shallower, a little bit deeper on each side, give us a, a little bit of adjustability. This is, this is going to mount to the gunnel of the boat. This end will mount to the remote shaft. This is a actually solid aluminum. This is a pretty decent heavy duty. I like how it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to lock it down. I'll put a link for the description in the description where I actually purchased this off of Amazon, a direct link. Cap, a couple couplings. These are for the one inch pipe. I have one inch pipe and I have inch and a quarter. The inch and a quarter actually has a big enough opening to where I can slide this one inch pipe inside of it to give me that swivel action I need. I went, went with the uh, electrical conduit, EMT. It uh, says it's for underground and above ground, sunlight resistant. So hopefully that'll help a little bit with UV rays. Need a piece of hydraulic hose. This is what's actually going to connect to the top of the mount itself, the transducer mount. I'm going to put some type of handle on the end of this, and as I spin this, this should actually rotate the shaft inside of the inch and a quarter. I have two different cutters, this little rotary cutter and a hacksaw. This makes a perfect cut all the way around. Sometimes it tends to bulge the plastic wherever you, PVC wherever you cut it. This is much quicker. This just is a lot cleaner. Of course, you're gonna need some type of glue. I just use the MT gray glue, matches color. Also some hose clamps. I actually cut this through about 30 inches itself. As you can see, this is gonna mount on the side like this. this is pre-cut this piece. This is actually, this coupling here, this is going to keep the shaft from going too far into the uh, outer shaft. Just like this. So now you can see how that's going to rotate inside there. This will mount like this. Cap will go on top. like this and then we'll drill some type of hole into this cap so that'll be our remote control cabling another 30 inches here maybe 32 let me go 32 there anybody's ever used one of these rotary cutters or they do a very nice job even if you just want to use this to cut, your, get your line started for your hacksaw, it still, still does pretty good. You just simply put it in there and as you tighten it, as you turn it, go back and forth and the little rotary blade in there starts scoring the PVC. Okay, now that I have my uh, two pieces of PVC pipe cut to the length I want, let's make sure that fits inside fine, and it does. That's going to swivel nicely. Now I'm going to sand this end down. And here, I'm taking sand that little lip inside there down. I'm also going to sand this piece of uh, one inch, a uh, three quarter inch. That's going to fit inside there. I'm going to sand that down quite a bit uh, so that it'll slide in there to get me a little, a decent depth. 
I measure my transducer is about four or five inches, so as long as I have you know, probably two and a half inches inside there, that should give me enough for my transducer to mount to the bottom of this three quarter inch shaft here. Get that sanded off. Using 40 grit, I just want to take a bunch of material, not a lot of material, but I want to take it off pretty quickly. I'm going to do is uh, wipe everything down with a little bit of acetone. Maybe, maybe to wipe these uh, this black marking off a little bit. Let's we'll see. And first, we're going to start with the piece we cleaned up. Just give it a good wipe down with acetone. this up oh yeah yeah that's what I was hoping is the acetone you see is actually all this factory marking it's taking it off of there that gives it a little more of a, a little bit more of a professional look to it if you don't have PVC pipe markings on there okay we really only have like a one shot at this so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this off hoping this goes to uh, two and a half inches in case it doesn't make it to the two and a half inches I'm going to make like little quarter inch markings coat it really well and get it all greased up I'll coat it you can still see our black marks in there Got the correct end. Start sliding this thing in there. Alright, looks like we're almost there. Tap it just a little bit. Alright, I think that's as far as it's going to go. I'm going to add a little of this 3M5200. I'm just going to lay a little bead right across there. Mainly because that'll that'll help hold everything in place, kind of create just a little bit of bed, a little bit of a flat spot for that bracket to set on. This, this stuff adheres to just about anything. Makes a good good little waterproof seal. all these other two. Now for the last one. Once that 5200 cures up, there will, there, that'll keep it from sliding and I put a lot of force on that to get it to move. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I think we're going to be fine. Goodness. Slide that in there. And there we go. I'm going to set that aside. Let's figure out what we're going to do with our top. We're not going to glue this down yet. Okay, now that we have a hole drilled in the end of our cap, we're going to install a nut on the inside, tighten it down tight, and then put some epoxy just to keep it from spinning. Okay, here's what I'm going to use to uh, put on the ends of the hydraulic cable. These are 3 8 inch compression fittings. I think you can see that. That's where I'm going to drill the hole through here for the cap on each side. I'm going to use these half inch star washers on each side of the PVC. Once I drill the hole on each side, 
That way that'll go inside there like this. And then I'm gonna epoxy the whole thing with JB Weld on each side to make sure that there's no, there's no movement that stays good and tight once everything's all cinched together. Hydraulic hose mounted to the top of this um, cap, one inch cap. The other end for my control knob is simply a inch and a quarter plug with an inch and a quarter cap. This handle it spins around. Something I've noticed that we're going to take care of, this is going to be a little reason we left everything long so that we could have plenty of adjustment. You can't put it back once you've cut it. So I found that the shorter this is, I right, we hold this up. It spins very nice, very easy back and forth, all the way around, pretty easy. It's gonna be, a, you're gonna to have to get a little bit lower. So I'm gonna cut this down somewhere right about here, as low as I can. I'm also gonna cut this top off. That'll give me another inch and a half, I mean another half inch or so to get this closer to where I'm gonna deploy this off the, the side of the boat. Okay, we got that cut down. You can see it's uh, quite a bit shorter. We took off almost seven inches, and uh, I believe that's going to be about the right height. Okay, now that we have our transducer mount finished, we're going to get this thing mounted on the boat. In the meantime, I put a coat of gray primer on the, the mount just to kind of blend things in, give it a little, little bit muted look to it. Okay, got this good spot laid out here. Mark it where we want it to go. get these holes. Okay, I got one more thing before we wrap this video up. I really want some type of pointing device coming off of this. I'm gonna do, this is actually the insert. This is a field point off of an arrow, and this is the insert for that arrow. Got plenty of broken arrows laying around, carbon tubes that I'm gonna use as my pointing device. So I'm gonna drill a hole, epoxy this into the PVC pipe, put this in my old arrow shaft that's broken, painted orange. I'll have me a detachable pointing device where I want it to go. Okay, I got me a little Gorilla Epoxy mixed up here. I'm gonna put that in the hole and uh, put our field point in there. It's a pretty snug fit, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap it in there and but get us plenty of epoxy. So hopefully it'll be in there a while. So coat this field point. Get this field point all coated. Let's put it in the hole. Tap that on in. Alright, here's our piece of arrow that I've cut. Put our insert in there. I left the knock on it, give us a good little directional pointing. Screw it on. Yeah, there you go. Very nice little. Orange mounting the transducer on the mount. I wasn't sure whether it would fit 
on the one inch or the three quarter inch pipe. I have both of them on there. It looks like it's going to mount in this one inch pipe. So I'd rather have that anyway because I've got this three quarter inch up inside here quite a bit. And it's going to reinforce this, keep it from giving any type of, uh, keep from crushing the pipe. Okay, there you have it. There's a uh, complete view of our forward facing sonar mount, complete DIY, probably less than a hundred bucks, pretty easy. Here we have our mount in the stove position. The last thing I did was I drilled a hole for this little bolt to keep this from moving back and forth as we're traveling with it. So this is our mount. Okay, this is our mount stowed. Whenever we get ready to deploy it, we just loosen up this little butterfly screw on the side here, spin it around, it'll lay right into the water. Get done using it, turn it up, lay it back inside the boat just like that. Okay, that wraps up this video of our DIY mount for our forward-facing sonar. Appreciate you watching.